There's a lot of noise coming from that side. Come on, Ashton. Give it what you've got. Leaking up like a gazelle through the plains. And two runs at a time. The upper body strength needed for that. to cross that can. But let's get behind this guy and make some noise. As he drops in for the can crash. Yes, Martin. What's he giggling at? What's he laughing at? Have you? It's not supposed to be fun Martin, this is entertainment. Right, I'm going to grab some more free stuff because we're going to need a bit of support for Martin here as he takes on the first feature of the show, which is known as the Ladder of Doom. Okay, ooh, ooh, the Ladder of Doom. What is he like? He's on it straight away, first thing in the morning. So first of all, down the balance beam, and you can see utilising the brakes he's got here. Both of them are hydraulic, the front one is this, and that's good for controlling speed. The 270 out, wasn't expecting that one. On the back there, he's got a hydraulic caliper, which locks this wheel. Mike, straight in, there's a lot of clapping coming through here. The you go, yeah, you. I've got some more cleaning products here, and he's got a car to it. Hey, you're too young to drive. Right, Martin Ashton is going to claim back the limelight by taking things literally to the next level. He's going to take off this ramp here and try and ascend to those runs. On top of the sprinter, here he is, placing it. Yes, Ashton. Now 12 feet off the ground. And you'll see how nimble this guy is. How smoothly he can manoeuvre that bike to get himself round over to the hangman bars, overhanging the edge of the roof rack. On the Vito Sport, stepping himself forward. And he's now getting ready to do a 180 on there. Switching himself up wheel for wheel. And now to end this section, drop to flat ground, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Blake Samson getting ready to drop in. Looking worried again about the wind. We're going to need to give this guy some support. Yes, mate! An enormous Superman air. Absolutely huge. He's been going so big all weekend. Blake, this wallet is going out to the person who cheers loudest for you right now. Give these people what they want. Yeah, the 360 table. to the far end of the arena where he's going to try and take on. Drop first! Yes, Ashton! Back flipping his way on that trials bike through the air. No! I can't believe that's happened. It's the final show. I can't believe that wheel has lasted that long on there. Unlucky mine. Let's give him a round of applause. It looks like it's up to Blake to end the show. Blake Samson getting himself ready for the final firework of the week. Martin Ashton's up on his wheel. His wheel's falling out and he's still going. No way. If he's still riding, I want to see you still clapping. Ashton is on the ladder of doom. No way. What a wheel gone and he's still going. On a wheel. some aerial manoeuvres, so let's make a bit of noise and do some clapping for it. Yes, Blake. That's called the Tuck No Hander. Going huge in the quarter pipe at the end as well. There's a lot of energy in this guy. And we are unlocking it with that applaud. I'm going to grab some more stuff from over here. We've got some more sweat to give out. As Blake performs the no-footer to Indian Air. Getting good extension on those tricks. There's some clapping coming from over here. I can hear it, I can feel it. There you go, some cleaning product for you, you can have a sweat bed. So by now you're seeing the difference in the two styles of riders that I've been talking about. We've got Martin doing the trials riding, a lot of balance work, uh, a lot of technical side of mountain biking. And you've got Blake who's doing the dirt jumping, which is mainly about tricks and just getting in the air and doing the tricks. But a fundamental part of what Martin is doing here, nearly called in miles, 
is the bunny hop. He needs to be able to jump that bike super high to get onto the different obstacles laid before him and get around all the courses laid before him in the contest. So we've set up the 40 centimetre bunny hop on top of the trailer here. Take that into consideration. It's a lot worth the floor. Yes, Martin Ashton! First show of the day is nailed here. Stoked, right? Stoked. Time. If he does go in, I want everyone to erupt in cheer and clap. Right, it's right. In. There he is! Aston is taking off, he's made it to the closest. The point of Haven, but now there's only one way to go, and that is forward. Check that out. Make some noise for this group. of the show, the tricks are going to come fast and furious, there's the tailwind, did you see that, hey, <laughs> his shoelaces are caught in the chain, oh no, cut his leg off Martin, it's the only way for him to continue, right these guys are chain ganging back because we have reached the point of the grand finale.